Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. I did make it safely to Deer Lake Astronomy Village. We had a lot of traffic through Asheville and they're working on I-26 through there. So if you're coming south via Asheville through I-26, you might want to seek an alternate route. But we had a great night last night here at Deer Lake Astronomy Village. And let me show, give you a little view of what it looks like from the observing fields point of view. So this is the Greer observing field and the posts you see are the power posts and then they have concrete pads available. Such a nice setup modeled after the Chiefland Astronomy Village with a few extra amenities. This is the warming room. I believe they have a Wi-Fi. I'm using Wi-Fi there. There's the picnic shelter. There's our restroom shower. The visual observer is set up on this section of the field, and most of the time the imagers are down on this section of the field. This is our north-south compass, just to give you an indicator if you arrive in the daytime, which is, was very helpful last night. And I went with two imaging systems. We have a great visual observer up here, showed some fantastic views last night of the Owl Nebula, we had uh, Omega Centauri, which was really just barely up off of our southern horizon over here. And uh, so those views were just spectacular through his 20-inch F5 uh, Dobsonian. And we have another imager over here. He's doing great work and another imager down there. So uh, it was a great night. I had one user error situation. <laughs> I'll go over these imaging systems here in a bit, but uh, you can see that this is the observing field. And then most of the uh, residences are through this shoot through the trees right here. And they're back up through there. But all these are power poles. Great setup here. The sky, there's a little bit of a light dome from Augusta over here in the east. But really from the south, from here to here, just spectacular. Um, for just a convenient location. And I guess this is a, a residence that uh, was here. They have a roll off observatory, but I've not seen any activity there. So I had two systems going last night. I'm gonna just review this one here right now. I'll do the other one tomorrow. But this is my Ro Ophiuchus killer. I'm using two separate systems that give me basically the same field of view. And I'm hoping to combine that data so this has the ZWO294MC Pro on the 80 millimeter Sigma fine art lens. And this has the Canon R, R, RP, modified Canon RP on the Rokinon uh, Samyang 135 lens. And those give me basically the equivalent field of view. So I'm, my goal here, this system is pretty much strictly dedicated to the Roe Ophiuchus complex. I want to collect several hours of data for that. And one of my goal is to have a fine art print eventually as the final product. So here we are, Deer Lick Astronomy Village. We had one great night last night. Looks like tonight and Friday night are gonna be good and actually Saturday night might be good. So uh, this is the setup. I'm gonna go over my New Honda CRV. It's a new car to me. I'll give you some insights on uh, another update, but that's the update for today. It's a great night last night. We're going to do some reading, catch up on some sleep today, and get ready for another all nighter. So, uh, hope you guys are able to get out to a dark sky site this new moon period. It's just a great time to be out and catch some galaxies early in this in the evening and then go into your summer Milky Way objects uh, as the morning progresses. And it's just one of my favorite times to see the Milky Way rising. So I'll give you an update tomorrow. I hope all is well. Take care.